And finally, we are going to be doing our Roman numerals. Over here, I have the answer key of the different letters and what the different letters stand for. And here I have our problems. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to write down underneath each letter what they represent. D, if we look at our chart, represents 500. So I'll write a 500. C equals 100. L equals 50. And here we have X, which equals 10. And then I notice that I have an I, which equals 1, and a V, which equals 5. When you have a smaller Roman numeral before a larger one, you must subtract. So what I do is I branch it off, and I know that IV will equal 4 because 5 minus 1 equals 4. Then I will just add them. 500 plus 100 is 600, 650, 660, 664. And I'll write that right here. Next, we have C's. C equals 100. Another C equals 100. X equals 10. L equals 50. So again, I have a smaller Roman numeral before a larger one, which means I'll need to subtract. So 50 minus 10 would equal 40. So I'll put a 40 right there. And V equals 5. 100 plus 100 is 245. Then we have X, which equals 10. D equals 500. So we have a smaller Roman numeral before a larger one. So 500 minus 10 would be 490. And we have an I and an I, which equals a 1 and a 1. So that would equal 492. And finally, we have M, which equals 1,000. D, which equals 500, and again we have our IV, which we must subtract because we have a smaller Roman numeral before a larger one, which means that's going to equal 4. So we will have 1,000 plus 500 plus 4 will equal 1,504. And there you have it.